Welcome back to more of Montana. We're on day three of driving across Montana. Good news is we have two hours until we arrive at our campsite in South Dakota. We're seeing pronghorn. I haven't seen a bison, but I don't know, have we ever seen a bison outside of a national park? No. I don't think so. This morning I secured our reservation for Badlands, which will be after our quick stay in the Black Hills. Of course, in the largest parks, you've got to have reservations. But outside of those large parks, if you can stay three to four days ahead of where you are, it usually works out pretty well. Yeah. It's worked out 90% plus uh, for us. And that's what people want to know too, is, you know, if you're traveling, can you make reservations along the way? And well, we have not had any issues no, that I can recall. Well, Things happen, for instance, uh, when we were back in Banff, we had four nights reserved. We ended up leaving and getting a refund on our final two nights. Someone was able to pick up a site for two nights in Banff. Yeah. Which, you know, most people say that's unheard of. I think it happens fairly often. You just got to be on the phone at the right time. Yeah, and you need to make sure that you cancel your reservation so you make room for other people. You better slow down, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, I find the, the speed, if the road is nice and fairly flat, um, it's hard to keep it down. I'd like to stay around 64, but it just, it just goes. It's pretty. South Dakota. Welcome. They ought to put up a sign that says the sign is coming up. Yeah. Because we just stopped. Yep. passing right by it we thought we would stop at Sturgis and just do a quick drive through we're about a week before the big rally and um, Cindy and I were both motorcycle riders uh, so we never came here as a as a motorcyclist though we talked about it it just never we talked about it just never did Iron Horse Saloon is that the iron horse? Uh -huh. Can I make this turn? Um, I don't know. You got I don't think so. It's tight. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I'd go straight. We're on Main Street. We got permission from a casino there uh, to park in their lot briefly. Well, it's more than just a drive-through. We decided to stop. We found spot we could park so there's a large gravel parking lot here right on the corner of Main Street and Junction and Shenanigans Casino is in here and Shenanigans Casino was nice enough they said this was their property and if I was fairly quick just doing a walkthrough that uh, they didn't mind if we parked here so it worked out real well. Rolling Ragu takes on Sturgis. Well before we can start Another one of those RVing, troubleshooting uh, activities. I went to open the awning to keep the sun off while we were walking and uh, it wouldn't. 
So my 12 volt power, 12 volt switch, that shuts off the main 12 volt, doesn't seem to be working. I know it's hard for you to see, but uh, this is a main power cutoff for 12 volt. And I can't run the exhaust fans or anything without that running. So I put the little floor light on here because when it's on, I can tell that I've got 12 volt. I couldn't easily diagnose it. So um, I don't want to stop us from walking around here. We'll be at a campsite later today. And uh, we'll diagnose it then. Maybe there's a fuse behind that board. I can take that board off pretty easily. Probably something easy. I've learned that much that when, uh, when all of something goes out, usually something obvious or easy. But here's Main Street, and to my right is fine folks at Shenanigans. They gave us the parking spot. That starts off as first. Yeah, I told you it was next week. Your foot drug on you. short and sweet um, feel kind of lucky that we were here a week ahead of time yeah um, otherwise we couldn't have let the boys see any of this yeah. <laughs> I said you wouldn't want to be here next week when all the ladies were around no no so we pick up Gigi we left her here at this t-shirt shop because it's shady. Oh, I did find something I'm gonna buy. That'll be my souvenir. I've been looking for one like this because the, uh, the bottom's flat and it'll hold a bottle. Good deal. How are you, Gigi? 